What is going down, everyone? This is Sean Casilli with Coldwell Banker Residential Real Estate in Panama City Beach, Florida. We're going to be previewing a brand new construction home today in El Centro Beach. This one is 16803 and a half Lisbon Avenue. It's a, like I said, brand new construction built by Keith Carnley, Carnley Construction. I have one of the homes that he built. I'm in love with it. Really good quality. I can't wait to show you inside. Let's get out of the car. Thrilled with the weather today. It's a little bit cloudy here. It's a bit of the neighborhood. At the end of the street there, you got Low Water Lake. Sprinklers are on right now out front. At least it's not raining right now. Okay, so I don't know if I mentioned this already, but we're about a block from the beach. Short walk down to the white sandy beaches of the Emerald Coast. This is currently listed at $437,000, 700. Okay, you guys, I gotta jump in here for a second. Right after I got finished shooting this preview, price was reduced $10,000. New list price, Four two seven seven hundred. You heard right. Four hundred twenty-seven, seven hundred. Four bedroom, two bath, and one half bath. Square footage is twenty-four twenty, so that's two thousand four hundred twenty. Welcome home. All right. Immediately to our left, we have stairs going up to the second floor. We'll continue to make a 180 degree turn and see the front door. And then we got our laundry area. It's our view from the laundry room. Check out this cool little hiding place. Oh, to be eight years old again. They would never find me. So we just saw the half bath by the stairs. Keep walking in and boom, look at this open layout. I have the miniature version of this home. It's so exciting to be in here. Check out these quartz countertops. Upgraded stainless steel appliance package. Soft closed drawers. Overlooking your dining and living area. Someone was paying attention. This is what people want. This open layout with the kitchen overlooking the living space. Check out the backyard. Here's the view. Fenced in. And see that condo right there? Yeah, that's how close the gulf is. Here we got a nice little patio for entertaining, having morning coffee, just relaxing with some stairs going into the backyard. Tray ceiling. Let's go into the garage. Two car garage, water heater. HVAC unit. While we're down here, Let's go check out the master bedroom. I like this touch of the tile floor in the bedroom. You know those days coming back from the beach and it's a little bit chilly out or a little too hot out and you don't do that good a job getting the sand off your feet. It's gonna be pretty easy to get it off of this floor. Get yourself a little robot vacuum 
Here we got a full bath, double vanity here. Check this out, shower and a deep soaker tub. Look at that. Walk-in closet. Moving on, let's go upstairs. I love this color, the stain on the stairs, matching railing. Immediately to the left and 180, back down the stairs. Here we got Another air handler, thermostat, bedroom. Is this where we're gonna get a peekaboo view of some water? I think so. You can see a little bit of low water lake and okay, you can see the gulf technically. Technically, it's very tiny. I'm 5'5", five five and I'm holding the camera at about six feet. Here at the top of the window, if you're really tall. Moving on. Look at this landing area up here. It'd be a nice, cute little space to like put a, maybe a gaming area. I don't know, maybe a beanbag chair or something. Get creative. Think, what would you put here? Leave a comment below. Another bathroom, single sink. Another place to read and a Jack and Jill, nice tiled in shower. Here's the view from the bathroom. Back into the hallway. Got a nice towel closet here. Another bedroom. The bedrooms up here are carpeted. View over the driveway. Hey, nothing fancy to look at, but you're not here you would naturally open these closet doors to make sure it's really there. Last bedroom, ceiling fan. Walk-in closet. with an access point to the attic, which would be a very small space, but nonetheless, there it is. View from this window. All right, you guys. Well, I'm gonna go around and start turning some lights off and then I'm gonna take you down to the beach because this is the world's, home of the world's most beautiful beaches. One last look before we get down to the beach of 16803 and a half Lisbon Avenue. And this is a listing provided courtesy of Marina Gregorian. The sprinklers have now switched and they are effectively giving my car a bath. <laughs> we are also going to mention that this lot size is 60 by 120. 
And I think I already said everything else that needs to be said. Without further ado, let's get down to the beach. We just pulled out of the driveway. I'm gonna show you how close the beach is. So let's go for a ride. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can click the gear icon and jump up the speed of playback to just blast through this drive down to the beach. It's gonna take all of three seconds more anyways, but there's your YouTube playback tip of the day. Maybe you're gonna watch my next preview and you wanna see the rest of the home, but I'm talking too much. There's, there's a tip. Shut up, Sean, and then just skip. Or maybe there's gonna be traffic, like these three billion cars right here, minus a billion. Just ran into some lovely folks. That would love to live in Panama City Beach. If I can help you find your dream home, there's the beach access right there. Boom. Hopefully there's not a ton of wind noise, but uh, had to couldn't leave the video ending just right there. Had to come down to the beach. And we are actually about a half mile east of the property we were just at on Lisbon, 16803 and a half. Google it for more pictures, video, or follow the links in the description below. But just to the west of this pier, there's a place where you can actually take your dog. Most of the beach, it is uh, pretty hefty fine. I don't, don't quote me on this, but I wanna say it's, uh, well, I'm not gonna get myself in trouble and quote. Who knows when you're gonna watch this video? You can watch this video in 10 years from now and it could be a, uh, you know, a million dollars to have your dog on the beach, but it's, uh, it, it's not cheap, let's just say that. Uh, so if you wanna take your dog to the beach, make sure it's to the west of this pier at Pier Park. Um, wow, can't believe, believe I even forgot to mention the proximity of this home to Pier Park. One of the main reasons I moved to Panama City Beach was you have all this beautiful beach. And there's all this great shopping, uh, restaurants, grocery stores. Nothing's missing for my lifestyle. Um, there's even music and events that they have at the park, at Frank Brown Park. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful city. You may know this about me already, but my wife and I searched for two years before we decided to move to Panama City Beach. It's got everything for us. It's a perfect fit for us. If you think it's gonna be a perfect fit for you and your family, see the contact details below. If you got property to sell here in Panama City Beach, Hit me up. This has been Sean Casilli with Coldwell Banker Residential Real Estate Previews in a cloudy day on a Wednesday. Thanks for watching.